Hey everyone, it's Vinny and I'm back today. And today we're gonna do a little buy or sell with horses that have a chance to repeat at the Breeders' Cup. Now I have these horses split into three different categories. Uh, the first one is potential repeat winners. This has been done 19 times in Breeders' Cup history. Most recently was Monomoy Girl when she won the 2018, then went on to win the 2020 Breeders' Cup Distaff. In this year's lone repeat winner that would be not back-to-back -back years, it would be Order of Australia in the Breeders' Cup Mile. Uh, Order of Australia won the Breeders' Cup Mile back in 2020 at a huge price. He's not going to be the price that he was that day. I actually think he has a big chance here. He looked very good, I thought, last time out, and he does like this Keeneland turf as long as it is firm. He's one I would definitely consider. I'm going to buy that Order of Australia can join this group of 19 and become the 20th horse in Breeders' Cup history to repeat the same event. The second group that I have are potentials of winning the same race in back-to-back -back years. Now, this has been done 15 times in the past. Most recently, though, was 2017 and 2018. We had two different horses do it. Uh, that was Stormy Liberal in the Breeders' Cup Turf Sprint and Roy H. in the Breeders' Cup Sprint. Both 2017 and 2018 winners there. Our two potential horses that could do it this year are Golden Pal in the Breeders' Cup Turf Sprint. Uh, Golden Pal also has a chance to become the only horse in Breeders' Cup history to win a Breeders' Cup race at 2, 3, and 4, and would only be the third horse ever to win three uh, Breeders' Cup races, join, and would join Goldagova and Beholder if he does accomplish this. And I'm buying Golden Pal. He loves this, tur this Keeneland turf. There are really only going to be one or two horses that have a shot against him and with his early speed if he breaks out of the gate like a rocket like he usually does here at keeneland he's just going to be ultra tough so i'm buying him the second horse that has a chance to be a repeat winner that is cc in the breeders cup philly and mare sprint now i think cc was very fortunate last year and while she is a good horse i am selling her this year it's going to be a sh short field i think there are I think there's some much better horses who have been running well all year. I don't know if she's really going to get the pace she needs to, to come from to come from behind. And the way this Keeneland main track usually plays on these big days, it, it is a little bit tougher to close on. So for that reason, I am going to sell CC, but she still has a chance and you should get a decent price on her if you do like her to repeat in the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint uh, for back-to-back -back years. Now, the last category that I have are the potential horses to win two different Breeders' Cup races in back-to-back -back years. Only six horses have ever done this. Uh, Golden Pal uh, became the sixth last year when he won the Breeders' Cup Turf Sprint. After, uh, the year before, in 2020, he won the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf. So, we'll start with Life is Good. Uh, he won the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile last year. He's trying to go against Lightline in the Classic this year. I'm a hard sell on Life is Good. You should get a good price, though. I saw today uh, Nick Tamaro, who is the morning line odds maker at Keeneland, said that Life is Good might be 8-1 to one on the morning line, which was a little surprising to me, but we'll see if he actually follows through with that tweet that he sent. But you should get a price at least on Life is Good if you like him. I'm selling him though. I don't. I don't think he's got a chance to join this list here, especially if Flightline just does what he's been doing. The second horse that has a chance here to win two different Breeders' Cup races in back-to-back -back years is Echo Zulu. Uh, she was a dominant winner in the 2021 uh, Breeders' Cup Juvenile Philly, and now she's entering in the Philly and Mare Sprint. I really like her in this spot. I know we haven't really seen much of her uh, this year. I know people wanted to see her more. And some people are disappointed that she's not going to the distaff. I think this distance is perfect for her, though. So I am buying in on Echo Zulu. I think she's the real deal. I'm hope Hopefully we'll get a decent price on her. But I think she is one that definitely has a big chance of joining this group of six. And the last one is Modern Games, everybody's favorite Breeders' Cup horse from 2021. 
when he dominated the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf, but all the bets were voided on him as he was improperly scratched at the gate. He's going to run in the Breeders' Cup Mile this year. I like him. I'm going to sell him in this spot, though. I think he's going to be very overly bet. I think a lot of people are going to be looking to bet on him from last year. He's been beatable this year. I know it's been against tougher competition, but he has been beatable. And there's some other really good horses com uh, coming from Europe for the Breeders' Cup Mile. And some of the Americans really actually fit in the Breeders' Cup Mile. So for that reason, I'm going to sell Modern Games. It's not my most confident of sell. But for the short price, I think he's going to be. I think he'll be. I think he'll be sub two to one. Uh, if he's not, then obviously I would not sell him. But I'm going under the assumption that Modern Games is going to end up being your favorite in the Breeders' Cup Mile. So there you have it. There are a list of horses that can join a kind of an elite little group of repeat winners at the Breeders' Cup this year in 2022. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. RacingDudes.com is your home for the best betting tips and coverage for the 2022 Breeders' Cup. Our wagering guides have cashed for thousands. You cannot miss our 2022 Inside Track Wagering Guide to the Breeders' Cup. So hurry up and subscribe, then go to RacingDudes.com, check out the free picks for every race, every track across the country, and the Inside Track to the Breeders' Cup Wagering Guide, available soon.